Have you ever worked on a project and then realized that you're coding in the wrong branch? Well, don't worry. Even if you've committed, even if you've pushed up to the origin, it's an easy fix. I'm going to show you how to fix it really quickly in Visual Studio, but keep in mind, in programming, there is always more than one way to do any task. I'll show you how I do it. Let me know what you think. Hey guys, so I'm in a project that I have from a previous video, and we're going to use this project to create the scenario to find the problem in order to fix the problem. Okay, so this is a video I made on cancellation tokens. I made this project. So go ahead and go to Git, Manage Branches, and whatever project that you're in, where you've probably already got this situation you're trying to fix, I'm assuming, right? So go ahead and uh, click on the branch that you do not want to modify that you've already modified. In my case, it's the main branch. I don't want to make changes to the main branch. It just makes no sense, right? I'm going to go to startup.cs and make some changes that I do want to make, but I don't want to make them in this branch. So let's add a comment here. This comment needs to be committed to a, to a non-main branch, period. And I'll save that. Now let's go to Git Changes. And I'm going to go ahead and commit that. I'm just not going to push it to the origin just yet. Test Changes, period. Test Changes for Git Video, period. We'll commit all. Now. You might push it and get an error like branch policy didn't allow this or something clued you into it. Hold on. Wait a minute. I'm not in the right branch. Okay. So now what do we do? Go to Git Manage Branches. I'm going to go. There's our change there. Let's go to the one right before it. I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to go to Git Reset Delete Changes or Keep Changes. I'll choose Keep Changes. And as you can see, it moved the changes back over here on the right. If we had chosen to not keep the changes and do the delete hard, then what would have happened is instead of going back to this and being able to still have this change that you could still commit to another branch or, or to commit again to this branch, is it would be gone. Going back to what we can do here, if you go to your git changes, and at this point we're back to, we've made some changes in the program, not in the branch that we want to commit it to, uh, maybe we've done a commit and we've reverted it back with a hard reset the way we just did. Or maybe we identified it in time and we didn't even have to do that. Either way, we're still in a situation we don't want to be in. We're in the main branch and maybe what we wanted to do is make our changes in this test branch one. So instead of doing commit all, what you can do is click this drop down box here. And you're going to choose stash all. Now you got your choices whether you want to keep them staged or not. If you don't already have files staged from a commit. That's not going to matter. So I'm just going to go to the top one, stash all, include untracked. As you can see, it, my stash is sitting here. I can now switch branches, pop this off the stack, and reapply it to my project in the branch that I just switched to. So I'm going to switch from main to test branch. Now I'm going to right click on that stash and go to pop, pop, all is unstaged or restore. And once again, if you, if you didn't have it staged, didn't matter. But we're just going to do pop and restore staged. Now there's my change I made. If I double click, I could verify that is the comment that I made earlier. And I can go ahead now and make my commit message since I'm actually going to commit it this time. Call it test commit. Go ahead and commit all. And now I'm in the branch that I really do want to push so I can push it. Now, what if, uh-oh, you pushed it to the wrong branch. It went all the way up to the cloud, and it's sitting on the cloud at your company or your boss's site, and it doesn't need to be there, or it's in the wrong branch, and you find out at this point. Well, this is a bit more of a pain, but we can still solve this, and we can even leave a history. So if anyone asks, why was it that way, and it's not way that, that way now, you can show, well, it was that way, but I rolled it back. Let me show you how to do that. Go to Git, Manage Branches. Go to your remotes, go to the branch where you pushed it to, which in my case is test branch. Click on the commit that you did by accident. We're going to right click that and we're going to do revert. Are you sure you want to revert it? Yes, I do. All right. So now if you go to the outgoing of your local copy of that, you'll see there is a revert and then the comment of the original comment for that, though, as it was. 
So now you have to push that revert. So I'm going to go ahead and click push. And there you can see in the history, we committed it, then we reverted it back. So if I go to the, the head, which I'm at the head now, and you go back to Solution Explorer, and you go to that file, you'll see that the comment is gone. That's it. And I did want to leave you guys with one final tip on this topic, or sort of on this topic, and that is that if you're going to be using these Git operations in Visual Studio, I personally have noticed that the quality of the Git operations does seem to vary from version to version with Visual Studio, and sometimes little quirky things might show up, and all you have to do is just go to the next version of Visual Studio, or if you've just taken an upgrade and it's broken, go to the previous version.